Okay, hi, it's Dr. Beaver. We're just getting started on your uh, left shoulder here. First thing we want to do is we wanted to confirm that you've indeed got the um, slap lesion that we thought you had, and you do. You're fine. You're, you're right there. Yeah. And um, here's the biceps tendon as it exits the shoulder. And here we can see a type 2 slap lesion. We can see the biceps anchors torn right here. Okay, we can also see some additional labral tearing, but for sure the biceps anchor is torn, and this is what your symptoms are suggesting. We can see some redness here, some inflammation. And so our plan, I think, is a good one because it works so well on the other side also. So we're going to go ahead here with a pair of scissors and release the biceps here. And then we'll go ahead and use our shaver to smooth out the rest of the labrum that's a little bit torn here. But just that quickly, we're able to release the biceps. We're going to complete the tenodesis using what we call a subpectoral technique because your rotator cuff's not torn. Your rotator cuff looks great there. So now we're just working on the rest of this labral tear here. Hit the pressure up about 15, 15 millimeters. Go to about 60. Yeah, keep going, 60, even 65. Okay, so sorry, it's a little bit cloudy, but we're just using suction to clear out the picture also. And as we look towards the back of the shoulder, other than the redness, there's really nothing else to worry about back here that I see yet. And as we look down the front, we had that anterior labrum. Lift straight up on the shoulder just for a minute. But Okay, you can let go. But in general, the rest of that looks fine. So we'll keep working here. Probably the next thing we'll show you will be our work in the subacromial space. Okay, so we're in the subacromial space. We're just finishing up with our decompression. Uh, let me get the burr on there. And uh, that's the front edge of the acromion there. Your rotator cuff looks great on this side, so pretty comfortable that the rotator cuff is good. You did have a pretty thickened coracroacromial ligament. We've already removed it. And now we're getting a pretty good look. There's plenty of space here. Your clavicles over there, we'll deal with that in a minute. But then as we look down at the rotator cuff down below here and rotate your shoulder, it looks just great. So this is the posterior part of the cuff as we internally rotate, and then as we externally rotate, that's the anterior part of the cuff. And so even when we look all the way back here towards the infraspinatus, that looks good. No signs of any problems in the cuff. So we're going to keep working here. This will be the end of the video because everything else we have to do um, is going to be through that little incision in your armpit, okay? So good luck to you now. Bye-bye.